here. Say it, say it, relax, man. If this is about the last pork chop missing, I ate it. I got to have protein, too. Steve, I just saw a rat. A big rat. A hood rat. Gold teeth, do-rag. I think he had a beeper. You know, say it, there's a 12-step program somewhere with your name on it. It's in the cabinet right there. Check for yourself. Oh, come on, say it. I can't believe you getting punked by a mouse. <laughs> See? Nothing. the last correct answer, so it's your turn. All right, I'll take great male singers for 30 points. <laughs> okay, this great R&B musician should have been invited to sing on We Are The World, but was unjustly bumped for Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Romeo. Who is Steve Hightower? Yes! <laughs> Well, actually, I couldn't have been there anyway because I was playing the role of Isaac's no good brother on the episode of Love Boat. <laughs> okay, Romeo, you're on the road. And I'll take a uh, great performance for 50 points. Okay, this performer played opposite Lola Falana as Isaac's now do well brother on television's Love Boat. <laughs> Sarah. Who is Steve Hightower? <laughs> Correct, correct, correct! I love this game. <laughs> Wait a minute. All the answers to the questions are Mr. Hightower. I mean, yes. what's up with that? I'm trying to teach y'all self-esteem. <laughs> See, you got to remember, the greatest love of all is yourself. <laughs> okay, everybody, I got your test papers right here. Read them and weep. Okay, Romeo, there's yours. Sweetheart, I got a beat. Yeah, I was thinking about calling Ripley's Believe It or Not. That's great, Romeo. You know, Romeo, you were only three points away from an A. Keep it up. Romeo, great, I'm glad I caught you. I need you to come by my office and sign your transfer papers. Transfer? Where's he going? Yeah, where am I going? Your father's switching you to vocational training. We gotta change your whole curriculum. He took me out of college prep. I thought you knew. Man, I can't believe him. Did you let this happen, Miss Greer? Regina, shouldn't Romeo have some sort of say in all of this? Look, his father doesn't think he's college material. I mean, well, my father felt the same way. He never thought I'd make it in music until I had a hit and I was dating Thelma from Good Times. <laughs> Look, I don't agree, but his father wants him to learn a trade, and that's his prerogative. I'm afraid that uh, Romeo's no longer in your class. What are you doing? We got to smoke the mouse, Steve. Start cutting up some Velveeta. Say, don't feed him Velveeta. He'll like it, and next thing you know, we'll have all his filthy little friends up in here. <laughs> Besides, man, I could care less about a mouse. I've been having a bad day. I don't believe it, man. Romeo's father took him out of my class and put him in vocational training. You kid. I'm sorry, Doug. You can't tell by his grades, but Romeo's really a bright kid, man. You hear that? <laughs> what? It's the mouse. I can hear him creeping through our cabinets. Probably sitting in one of our teacups pretending he had Disneyland. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Why don't you forget about the mouse, man, and forget about all these traps. Just get yourself a cat. A cat? That's a good idea, Steve. You know, I can get my mom's cat, Freddy. He only got three legs and one ear, but he fast. Three legs? What happened to him? Uh, remember how he used to chase the lawnmower? Well, one day he caught it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Freddy. Freddy the cool cat. Well, you know, Freddy the only cat I know wear a perm. <laughs> you hear that? It's him again. I'm gonna go get Freddy. Yo, Mouse. <laughs> go and get Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gonna have your mama shopping for a black dress. Hey, it's just a little mouse. <laughs> Oh, ah, uh, I'm gonna just go out to dinner. Hey, Romeo, how you doing? How you think he's doing? He looks like the kid they don't talk about at home improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so messed up that your dad gets you out of class like that. Parents, just because they give us food, shelter, a little bail money, they think they can just tell us what to do. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cool, y'all. I mean, if I'm not in class, I'm not in class. I could deal with it. So fair, I gotta get the shot. Oh, I made you something. Check it, y'all. Uh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that, that's cool. Y'all like it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a spice rack. Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Check it out, though. I didn't follow the model. I followed my spirit. Cause see, even in shop, Romeo got to be Romeo. <laughs> you know? Well, got to get to class. Today we find out what that little black ball in the toilet bowl is for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you later, sweetheart. Hang in there, Romeo. We'll figure something out. We're not going to let you go out like this. Oh, don't worry about it. It's cool. I'm sweating. Just chill. Hey, Romeo. Hey, Mr. Atawa, how you doing? No, the question is, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Look what I made. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a pretty nice pool stick holder. <laughs> it's a spice rack. Oh, man. Why am I fronting? I mean, look at this. It's a shame a tree had to die for this. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, son. You got skills, Romeo. You just ain't got no skills in woodworking. Mr. Hightower, I'm dying in this vocational training thing. Ain't there some strings you could pull to get me out of this? Hey, look, Romeo, I'd love to step in and help you out, but you got to look at this, man. You bought half of this on yourself. I mean, look at your grades. How did you get a D in study hall? I'm a late bloomer. I mean, I know I could do better. I want to go to college, Mr. Hightower. I don't want to be one of those guys who just wear the Georgetown jackets. Hey, look, Romeo, I know what you're capable of, but it's not me you got to convince. It's your father. Oh, well, you don't know my pops. He tough. On our welcome mat, it says, don't you got somewhere better to go? You're just going to have to tell him what's in your heart, son. Tell him what you want out of life and then what you're willing to do to get it. What if he don't listen? Show him your spice rack. <laughs> And then tell him you ain't gonna ever be able to make enough money to leave home. <laughs> What's the matter, Sam? It's Freddy. What, he get the mouse? Freddy's dead. <laughs> Freddy's dead? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, that mouse cornered out on the balcony. Went for him. Mouse did a Jerry Rice move. <laughs> Man, Freddie went over the balcony like Bob Doe. Uh, I guess that's one time that fourth leg would have really come in handy, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta go tell my mother. She gonna be mad. She love that cat more than me. Love animals, hate people. OK, Mouse, thank you all that now, don't you, just because you took out some little cat. I'll be somewhere bragging to your little play carrying posse right now. That's all right. You mine. That's the door. I'll handle it. Romeo, what are you doing here? Hey, Mr. Hightower, I did what you told me. I finally stood up to my pops, and I told him I'm putting myself back in college prep. Oh, yeah, what happened? Said I could do whatever I wanted. Well, that's great. As long as I'm not living under his roof, so, uh, guess I'm gonna have to stay here. <laughs> See, Romeo, first 
said moved in. Then I got a mouse. Now, unless you got a pregnant wife on a donkey, the inn is full. Man, I can't believe you called my parents, Mr. Hightower. You were the one that told me to stand up to my pops in the first place. Yeah, over at your house. <laughs> I thought you had my back, man. Romeo, I'm your teacher. I can't come between you and your family. Is Romeo here? There he is. Oh, shh. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want you all to take this the wrong way, but I, I don't really want you people in my house. Yeah, how y'all know I was over here anyway? What are you talking about? You told me you were going to be staying here for a while. Oh. oh, really? Why didn't you tell me? That way I could have got you some sleeping bags, ordered the Cartoon Channel, and all y'all could have moved in. You would do that, Mr. Hightower? I'm impressed. Yeah, that's a very cool move, Mr. Hightower. Before y'all start naming y'all kids after him, he made me call my parents. Ugh. You dropped a dime on a brother and got the nerve to be acting all down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Romeo. No matter what, I'll stand behind you. With my luck, this is probably the boy from the third period that licks the window. <laughs> Hi, I'm Romeo's father. My wife had paged me to pick him up here. Hey, Mr. Santana, pleased to meet you. Come on in. Hola, Mr. Santana. Como estas, Sophie? We were just leaving. Romeo, we got your back tomorrow. <laughs> okay, come on, you. Let's go. Vámonos. I ain't going nowhere. Mira, yo soy tu papá, so you better think about what you are saying. I'm in no mood for this today. Romeo, you need to listen to your father. You wait in the cab. All right, all right, cool. Y'all want me to leave? Say no more. Oh, thanks a lot, Mr. Hightower. Appreciate it. Thank you for backing me up, Mr. Hightower. Well, I don't really back you up on this. Say what? You know, you got a great kid there. You ought to try listening to him sometimes. Oh, is that so? Well, tell me something, Mr. Hightower. How many kids you got? I got about 200 of them. And out of those 200, a few of them are pretty special. Romeo happens to be one of those. He just needs another shot. Oh, yeah? And what if he blows it? Are you going to be around to pick up the pieces when uh, things fall apart? Mr. Hightower, you are his teacher for a few years. I'm his father for life. Hey, Mr. Santana. Look, I know you're Romeo's father, but I happen to care about him, too. I just think you're making a really, really big mistake. Oh, well, you're entitled to your opinion. And by the way, I never liked your music. <laughs> just because you drive a cab and your boy can't spell, don't get mad at me. <laughs> class, let's settle down, everybody. Let's take a seat. Today, everybody, we're going to be studying the music of Charlie Parker, who happens to be the father of Bebop. Bebop? That's a stupid name. What kind of father names his kid Bebop? <laughs> Sorry about being late, everybody. Wow, Romeo, what are you doing here? Your father transfer you back in? No. No. Then I'm sorry. You have to go. Just as we expected. You are so predictable. All right, everybody, phase one. Phase one? If you kick Romeo out, you're going to have to kick us all out. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Holy, you better back up there, Winnie Mandela. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hightower, this right here is a peaceful demonstration. Mm -hmm. Nobody is leaving this room until I'm back in this class. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Y'all better sit down before I kick. No, can't do that. Uh, better sit down before I snatch. No, I can't do that either. I go out to the trunk of my car. No, I definitely can't do that. <laughs> Y'all stay put. I'm gonna go find out what I can do without having to serve any time. <laughs> Regina, them kids are very close to getting a real Tupelo, Mississippi butt whooping. I'll get my bullhorn. I live for this stuff. Come on. OK, well, how about if we just whoop one real good? You know, just make an example out of him. Oh, no. They did not lock this door. I'll go check the back door. It's no use, Mr. Hightower. We've locked both doors. Phase two is underway. Students, this is your principal, Miss Greer. You have unlawfully taken over public property. This is a federal offense. 
That's right, and I'm testifying against everybody. <laughs> I can't commit a federal offense. Even I can't take an attractive mugshot. <laughs> Phase three, everybody. Oh. Well, the lyrics of We Shall Overcome. Students, this is your last chance to open the door. Oh, what are you going to do, call the police? We ain't afraid of the police. Yeah. I, 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 I'm calling your mother. My mother? No one said anything about my mother coming up here. If she misses days of our lives, it's over. Yeah. All right, look, everybody, listen up now. I appreciate it, but this ain't your fight. I'll take it from here. Thank you. Hello. Don't blame them, Mr. Hot Top. I'll take the heat. All right, everybody, just sit down. In here trying to act all political. Half of y'all think Huey Newton is a Nabisco cookie. <laughs> Students, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Mm. <laughs> so let's get one thing straight from the get-go. This here is my school. Her school. <laughs> if any doors around here are going to be locked, I'll lock them. She got a key, only one with a key. <laughs> You see, my students, we are not all equal. No, sir, never have been. <laughs> There's no he say, she say. It's what Principal Greer say. Jack, what the principal got to say. <laughs> you see, my students, in this school, we have a line. Got a line. <laughs> and as your principal, it is my job to make sure that you tell the line. Got to make sure you pull it. Oh, but you don't want to toe the line, my students. Oh, no. See, you want to cross that line. Yes, they did. First they was here, then they went over there. Mm -hmm. Now, now, maybe you say you didn't see the line. But I know you saw it. Oh, because the line was there. Right there. Well, it was drawn clearly. Not that wide. But still, you wanted to cross that line. By itself. Mm -hmm. Your behind is mine. Oh, I like that. <laughs> now, all of you, in my office, now. Go ahead, Piggy. <laughs> Boy, we had some white gloves and a collection plate. We could have got paid. <laughs> You two a moment alone. Now, the principal said you crossed some kind of line. <laughs> I know, Papi. I take full responsibility for that. Well, you know, Mr. Hightower, he believes in you. He says you are special. He says if you would only apply yourself, you can be whatever you want. And Miss Greer, too. Miss Greer believes in you. What about you? Me? I've known you longer. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Look, Poppy, if all these people say I'm so special, then there must be a reason. I mean, I know I've been cruising and all that, but I do whatever it takes. I mean, I'll go to class every day, I'll study, whatever you say. I just need one more chance, Poppy. I swear I'll make it up to you, and I won't let you down. That's my word. Romeo, I don't know about all this. But I'm willing to let you try it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Say it. What's the matter? Steve, it's the mouse. We got to find him. I think he's been shacking up in my Nikes. <laughs> Shh. He's here. I can feel him. There he is, right there. Oh, yeah, that, that's the usual spot. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, on the count of three, we gon' bomb rush him. <laughs> Two, three. Ah! Say hello to my little friend. I did this to you. I did this to you. You think we got him? Where'd he go? I don't know, Steve. I think he went down the drain. You sure? Turn the light on. <laughs> that is the light. Turn it on. Oh, man. 
man, what a way to go. <laughs> I'm glad he did, Steve. <laughs> that was for you, Freddie. I hope you're up there kicking it with all four legs. <laughs> I live on the floor below you, and I was wondering, have you seen my pet mouse, Little Bits? Uh, little Bits, huh? Well, that's a good name for him. <laughs> was he, uh, gray and white with a gray tail and little buck teeth? Yeah. No, no, we haven't seen him. If you do, please call this number. Uh, you know, kid, if you don't find him, but always get yourself another mouse. Oh, no. Little Bits is special. He's a gift to me when they took out my kidney. <laughs> See, we're gonna burn in hell about this boy. Right? Uh, look here, little kidney boy. I don't know how to say this. Little Bits. How do you do that? I don't know. But that mouse comes back more times than James Brown after he put his cape on. <laughs>